the fair news. The <laughs> uh, only time I've actually taken a strike was actually through the slit in my visor, which actually hit my nose. Let's see. My eyelashes managed to grab the blade and stop it from going into my eyes, so it's uh, all good. But that's all down to training. And here we are, list one. Cool microphone. That's the uh, that's the whole purpose of that outfit. Yes, uh, I think so. It's and let's put them in bright white so they're easily spotted. <laughs> well, well, on the Death Star would be pretty invisible. Or Hoff. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good there, but anywhere else. Our geek meter is going up right now, Dave. Oh, yeah. You can, you can actually feel the force now. <laughs> That's right. Mm. But, yeah, it's just when people watch things like Game of Thrones with all these sword fights going on, and they go, wow, that's awesome. It's, yeah, it's good to get you interested, but if you want to actually do the real Game of Thrones, here it is, right, right here. here live. With, the sport has been created. It is waiting for you. because there were gaps in the back of an egg, and you just don't want that. So back in list one here, we have Germany and Canada. Uh, yes, that is correct. See, I'm getting better of these flags. You are, you are. A dust storm getting picked up here where these fighters circling each other. It just shows how much movement actually goes into a feet, and without good feet work, you ain't got nothing. Yeah, that's, uh, I was an uh, Olympic fencer at uh, Michigan State University for four years, and that's what was drilled into us every single day. You know, is your footwork wins you bouts. If you're balanced and even and can move in and out of range at will, it's very hard to beat you. Mm -hmm. Recorded um, to make sure that the opponents um, have equally matched weapons. You don't want someone out there with a three-meter long longsword. <laughs> just stand in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. This is more like jousting. Yeah. But it does beg the question, why don't the Jedis have a button that makes for laser go further? Well. Yeah. Or when you're going for an overhead slash, why don't you turn it off and then turn it back on again? <laughs> turn it back on, right? Yeah, no. It, it does give you those advantages, but no one seems to have picked up on that yet. So we're still on list one here, Canada. Germany. That is Germany. Yep, Canada and Germany. Germany, this one. These guys are just going hammer and tongue here. Once again, the big German fighter just using his size. Australia going at it again. Well, very gutsy fighters here. Oh, big spins from Australia there. Impressive, but also very dangerous to do. As soon as you turn your back and your opponent, eh, bad things usually happen. Oh, big pommel strikes there. Seems to be a favourite for these fighters against. Oh, big throw down, but they both go down. And now you've got lots of energy trying to get back up on your feet. Uh, Australian fire just pop back up there. Go hard, go, go, go. And we have a decision on list two here. Oh, a big hit in the belly there. Or gut. This has been a long match. I can only imagine how many rounds we're on now there. Back hits. And that's why I don't turn my back. Peace against, but once again, they're going for the same attack against the Australian player of using the pommel. Canada. That was, a, that was a gutsy, gutsy fight. Like showing for the Australian fair, very really went for it as well. And a